Great, so in this lecture, what we want to have a look at is do follow links versus no follow links. We want to understand what they are, what's the difference between them, and which one is the one that actually gives power to our SEO efforts, and which is going to get us to the top of the search results. So we're going to start with a little bit of theory, then we're going to move into some real examples. Uh, I think it, this is great to do it now before before we start talking about specific link attraction or link building strategies. Um, and also, if you have any doubt whatsoever about what actually is a link, when we go into the real examples, I think that's really going to clear that up. Okay, so just to recap a little bit, we know that search engines see a link as a sort of vote of confidence, i.e. that we're an authority on a particular topic. So if we have a lot of sites from around the internet pointing to our page for this particular topic, the search engines pick up on that and say, well, it must be great if everybody's linking to it. And as a result, they put it in front of their user who's searching for it in Google. So by default, all links are do follow. This means that the vote is passed through the link. The authority is really passed through the link. However, Google developed what's called a nofollow link attribute, really with the purpose of tackling spam. So, nofollow links do not pass a vote through the link. And here's an example of what that actually looks like. This is the HTML code. So as you can see, this is the actual link here, udemy.com, and you can see relationship nofollow. So, no vote will be passed through, no authority will be passed through um, through this link if I say publish that on my page and this would be the anchor text this is what I would see on my page okay so you know a lot of sites by default are no follow because they want to reduce spam so sites like Wikipedia many blog comment boxes most of the social networks by default they have no follow links and again, that's really to prevent spam, spamming. Imagine if all the social networks had do follow links by default. Everybody would, be, everybody would just be going to Twitter, going to Facebook, going to Reddit, and just posting loads and loads of links back to their site. Um, but of course, there's no sense in that. So they made up this rule, the no follow, and that really takes away all of that activity. Great, so to bring it to life really I thought let's look at a couple of real examples and here's a blog that you may be familiar with, it's a guy called Tim Ferriss, it's the 4 hour work week, he wrote a very famous book, but as you can see he's got a new article published today and in the article we can see both do follow and no follow links, so for example we can see a, fo a photo credit here and linked off to serendipity so what you can actually do is go to view this is on chrome but you can do it on other browsers as well there's an option for this you can go developer and you can go view source and so what you can see in here is the actual html code of this particular page so if we search for <clears throat> let's see serendipity okay so this is the photo credit that we saw here and uh, what we really want to see here is if this is a, f a do follow link or a no follow link. So what we can see is here's the actual link. Um, this is the anchor text that we can see on the page. And we can see that that is just a normal link. There's no uh, no follow put in there. So that's, that's going to pass through the vote to her Flickr page. A bit of authority from a high authority site here. Um, very popular blog so good uh, well done to serendipity there now let's have a look at some of the comments then so let's uh, have a look if these are no follow links or do follow links so let's just type in uh, Jeffrey S so Jeffrey S here we go so Jeffrey S has made a uh, a comment and really this is what this is is a link back to his gravatar profile and so as we can see here it's a external 
now follows. So as you can see, if you were to make a lot of blog comments there on this site, you wouldn't be getting a vote back to your site, even though there is actually a link there. Great, so I showed you, uh, looking at the source code, how we can find out if the link is a do follow or no follow. But really there's a quicker way to do this. We don't have to do it manually every time. What we can do is uh, if you type into Google no follow Chrome extension, um, you can get basically an extension that's going to show you very quickly whether a link on the page is follow or no follow. So you can add it there. I've already added it in. When it when you've added it in, you'll see a little link symbol here. And so to enable it and disable it, you can just click it. So this is a much faster way. You can see now on Wikipedia, for example, that these links off the page are all no follow. If they're red, they're no follow. If they just stay normal, then they they are follow. So as you can see, all of those are no follow. Twitter as well, as you can see the links that people tweet out are all no follow as well. Facebook as well, the links here are no follow. That's the main one. Great, so summing it up really do follow links are the ones which have the most power for SEO and so you can use this Chrome extension that I showed you when you're link prospecting to have a look at the sites that you think will be potentially good sites and see if they allow do follow links um, and just to have a bit of a analysis tool there to determine what is their current policies and that will help you to determine then which might be the best sites for you to target in terms of uh, building links from.